Bingo! 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 him. Hello. Hey YouTube, it is me, Random Ross, and welcome to the Random Ross Show with me, Random Ross. And today, we're going to be talking about fruit, but it's not that simple. This is the show where anything can happen. I can't change my glasses. Also, we have the clown with us. And also, Alfredo Cheese. You know, Mr. Cheese's brother. So give me coffee and cheesy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know what he was doing there. <coughs> Cleaning my throat. So, yes, fruit. It's fruity, fruity, fruity! Yes, fruit. So, basically what we do with fruit is we eat it because it's healthy. Yes, it's always important to eat at least five portions of fruit and veggie day. But what about fruit? So, eat that five bits of fruit a day. Or, if you can't be asked, just do it the Scottish way, where it's just one. Anyhow, apparently, if you eat fruit, you take, your shit becomes your shit becomes a floater. I don't know. I never, I never wanted to see that myself. Anyway, what else are we going to be talking about? Uh, oh yeah, if bananas are called banana, uh, if oranges are called oranges, why aren't bananas called yellows? And why aren't apples called greens? I always wonder, right? How do you, you know, I can't believe it's not butter. How is it, uh, you know, not butter if you can't believe it's not butter? I don't get that bit. Anyhow, what else do I want to tell you? Sex is a very, very important activity because it produces the young. And also, it's basically a race you have because when you're racing, it's like you're racing to the egg and you've won and you become a person. And that's all the good you do. That's all you ever win in life. The rest of the time, you've got to get on with it. And also, um, we can, you know, that's how it can be made. A baby. After nine months, it pops out of the woman. And of course, sex is something that should be taken seriously. Also, it can be a very big decision too. I mean, some people, they might not decide to do it until they're married. Or some might just go out and date for a while before they feel comfortable doing it. All I know is it's something that you should never rush and you should always take your time with. And my mother is shouting downstairs. So, yes. What else do we have about it? <laughs> So what happens when two people are sexually attracted to one another and they want to do it? And they want to touch themselves, each other of course. But it's not all safe because if you do that, touch, your, touch each other with your genitals and don't use a condom, then you will get chlamydia. Right, not just that, but others. Herpes, gonorrhea, which always reminds me of diarrhea. And, you know, it's just not a pleasant thing because it can infertile you. Yeah, 
It's that dangerous. Of course. Generation. We grew up with it and it's, you know, it's golden years. And now look where we are. Shit. No goods on it anymore. I haven't watched kids' channels in like at least seven years now because I've grown out of it. Hmm. I also like Nicktoons, Nickelodeon and stuff. Uh, fairy, fairly Odd Parents, Rugrats, and Cartoon Network. Dexter's Lab, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Looney Tunes, Flintstones, The Jetsons. Uh, also, Foster Zone from Imaginary Friends, Cow and Chicken, I Am Weasel, Courage the Cowardly Dog. They, they were all great cartoony tunes. Also, now, the early cartoons I'm more into are Adult Swim, Family Guy, American Dad, Bojack Horseman. Cartoons for adults, South Park. You know, in fact, cartoons these days are just made for adults, I should say, because, you know, Adult cartoons just seem to be Watching funnier. people make complete tits of themselves. Also, whilst I'm here, my mum and dad are downstairs and my sister is in the next room catching up on TV because she's hungover. So anyway, yeah, reality TV is bloody shite because they just show it to death again and again and again. Like in 2010, we thought Big Brother was finally over till... Bing! Channel 5 bloody brought it and made it more annoying. That's the thing with reality TV. It gets annoying after so long. Because they make it and they make it. And they have people exposing themselves and looking like tits. Because of reality. So yes, reality TV... They need to stop making these programs and start making things that are more entertaining and less sad because this is for people that want the five minutes of fame and they have to always do it every single year. Look at X Factor. We're all sick and tired of that every single year. Sam and Carl, you're a nice guy. You're a nice guy. I know a lot of people won't agree with me on that, but please, please give us something new. You know, I'm bloody tired of the same X Factor. You know, I don't even watch it anymore because it's that annoying. And it's still annoying to know that it's on. Oh, also, Big Brother, Channel 5, why didn't you just leave it alone? Leave Big Brother alone. It died in 2010 and I, no one still likes it. I thought, you know, Channel 4 had, the, you know, common sense. And they found zebras and stuff, you know, like Simba's father said. And that is the soul of life. But anyway, um, as before we drag on any further, let's get our regulars introduced. We have the clown. We also have Alfredo Cheese. Animal cruelty is just sick. Animals. Well... Like I say, when it comes to animals, it sickens me to the core to see how they're treated in slaughterhouses. You know, what they should do is the animals should get their own back and kill those inhumane bastards who slaughter them in the slaughterhouse. It is cruel to make an animal suffer, you know, and also like pets and stuff. When they're really ill, it's heartbreaking, but when you've got to put them down... It is the kindest thing to do. But of course, animals are cute creatures and they're friends, like dogs. They're man's best friend. We've been domesticating them since there were wars and we were cavemen. Also, what do we do? Evolution. Evolution is what makes the earth. We've evolved from animals. It's like we evolved from cavemen and then when the Ice Age happened, we moved down south. And then, when the Ice Age cleared up, God thought, I'll create the Garden of Eden and create two people, Adam and Eve. Until he realised, oh, there's some cavemen left down here that I've put back up there. But also, animals. We all love animals, but yet we're the deadliest species of them all. Polluting the fish's water with our garbage, and also their, our every environment. This is also climate change. Now look... 
Obviously climate change can't be stopped, but it can be postponed if we delay it. Yes, what we need to do is we need to get off our fat asses every now and then and recycle paper. Yes, sir. Why not talk about gaming? So, games. Well, you can get lots of games these days on your phone. Like, download it all on your app and stuff as an app and play games. Most popular ones are like Candy Crush. Candy Crush. And that. Of course, back in my day, we had the PlayStation 1. And 2, 3, 4. I've never been interested in them. Not even the Xbox. You know, I've never really been interested in owning any of those things. I mean, I owned a Game Boy, a Game Boy Advance SP, and the Nintendo 3DS. I like Nintendo handhold consoles. Because I can just walk around anywhere I wish with them. Yes. So, yeah, I always, you know, sometimes get stressed on games and I'm like swearing and shouting. Oh, shit! Oh. Bastard! Bastard shit! Bollocks! Yeah, I, you, you uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's a game, and if you lose, well, you can just learn from it, and get better, and then win. I've done that with nearly every game I've played. So, um, yes, games. You shouldn't get really stressed.
walla walla, hey, me tell you, me tell you, walla walla walla, ha ha. Oh, I think it's that time again. Stay tuned. As exception is very important for youngsters out there, but if you're very embarrassed, then don't do it at all. Or you can just pull out at the last minute and come all over the place. My first time I didn't. Oh well, I recently caught my son's fiance performing incest in incest you will axe on her brother. He didn't marry her in the end. That's no to do with what's happening, is it? Cartoon Network was great in the 90s! I like reality TV, so it doesn't always do my head in. Like, like a year ago, I auditioned for The X Factor. I didn't get through though, but I was just glad to be on it and have my 15 minutes. I sang a classic song. Do, 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 do. Flash! Oh, savior of the universe! Do 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 flash! Oh, he's for every one of us. All right, Al. Maybe if it was the idiot factor, you'd be in with a chance. But let's be frank. Let's face it. It was a bit shit. Uh, what if I was to put on a few pounds? Piss. Piss, 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 piss. Flush! Oh, cruelty is just sick. A cow! A cow! Moo! Moo, motherfucker! Moo! You always play games for fun. Don't get stressed out over games. You know, it's just a game. You can always win again. I mean, if you lose, you can learn from that and get better. I love to play Chinese checkers. Thanks, Alfredo. So yes, games. Um, yeah. Also, in the eighties, there were arcades. Arcade games where you play Pac-Man and stuff. It was a f and also we'd all go with our friends and stuff because it was a thing we used to do back then called socialising. Of course now everyone's on their phones and they don't meet in person anymore. But yeah, games. So it's good to go out and mix and socialise with your friends. <laughs> yeah, like I remember last weekend, me and the clown had a belter of a day. <laughs> You could have spoke this whole time and you never said a word. Ah, I'm gonna miss you anyway. Yeah, I love that man. I love it because, you know, he's great and I am gonna miss him on this sh show and on my channel. You know, he's just got to the point where he's had enough and he wants to move on and do better stuff. So, yeah. 
We miss you, clown. <laughs> Shoutouts this week go to Vanilla Gorilla Beast and the Horror Squad. Spooky Astronauts and Horror Girl. American Double Thunder X TV and the 13th Wolfman, the movie Phantom, Maya Angel and Horror Addict, Kaylina Orr, Bloodbath and Beyond and Horror Whore, Joe Manganaro, Joe Mang... Man... Mang... Manger... Man... Nero? Manganero or something? I, I, I'm sorry if I am not pronouncing that right, uh, Joe, but yeah, that, that, that shout out goes to you. Um, his channel, like I just said, will be linked down below. Um, also, um, they go to Todd, All Things Horror, and my two good friends who I've known since childhood, Daniel Allsop and Elliot Hall. Yeah, this is it then, the last in the series. I've enjoyed this one. So yeah. Till next time. Goodbye friends. Bye bye. you